Where is he? I know he's around there somewhere. Yay! Ah, there you are. <laughs> Finally, I'm back to my normal pervy self. What is that fool up to? This is great news! Now, tell me more of the story, please. This must be celebrated. I'll go get some ale, and I'll get on with it. Um, you remember the last time you got drunk, don't you? Uh, you're right. I'll drink after this part. Story. <laughs> Maybe I should wait a little bit before doing my task. Alright, so as we know, the gang had just arrived at Fort Dawnguard, and it's time to learn about what they did after this. Having reached the fort, the gang met the remaining six members of the Dawn Guards. Gunmar, Durak, Jana Bell, Isran, Serana, and the leader of the Dawn Guard herself, Alice. They received armor and weapons, and Serana called a group of eleven to a war council. In the council, they were to determine where to go from there. Much like Lucian, Serana had the strange ability to collect information from the world around her. This, combined with their use of messenger ravens, had given the Dawn God an advantage when Dobin first appeared. Drawing from an ancient power source beneath the fort, they had cloaked the area in a shield that made Dobin unable to sense their presence within it. Even so, several Dawn Guard members turned crazed and were put down by their former friends. Only the six remained. Dobin militia came across the area every now and then, but it was quiet most of the time. Surana had been searching for Kijor, and sensed that he was getting closer, and so they prepared for the council, where they all shared the information they had. The meeting went on for hours, and many things became clear. To save you the hours of talking, let me sum it all up for you. Surana had been following Dobin's recent activity. He was growing in power, but she felt that he was frustrated. Her theory was that Dobin was still missing one artifact in order to rise to full power. The group of Eleven soon split into two teams, as two ideas emerged. One team wanted to go after Dobin's artifact and destroy it before he could get it, and the other team wanted to use this time to free cities and build a proper army. Serana discouraged sending two teams, as she said it would spread them too thin, and instead she proposed that some people stayed behind to guard the fort with her as she searched, and the rest of the team moved over to Riften to see how the situation was, and whether or not the town could be freed. The gears are in motion, but who can say how long they will turn? Guys, aren't we missing something? What about the Rings of Purity? The Rings of what? Uh, we need these rings to survive the corruption. Honestly, people, do you think a ring could prevent the corruption? Ah, the Swift class sure screwed up. But how come we've all survived? We're not turning crazy. This is strange. I do agree. Our company all seem to be immune to this. So this means that London Lucian can safely travel here. Safely? Have you looked outside lately? It's hell out there. So how are we to travel? Your best bet is to wear hoods and helmets, and do your best to avoid eye contact with the Dobin militia. We tried that in Windhelm. That didn't go too well. We were busted almost straight away. There must be something we can do. What did you use to cloak your auras? Auras? Wow, you guys really don't know anything. I'm surprised Lucian hasn't figured this out already. The reason most Dobin infected people don't attack each other is that they sense this aura. I don't know how to explain this, but they seem to react hostile towards anyone without that aura. How do we obtain- Ah! Das! What's wrong? There's something... different. Uh, don't worry, I got this. I'll carry her. We really have no chance, do we? Alice can't seem to find what's hurting Tass. I, I guess it's an after effect of the Castle of Time. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder how in oblivion we are to do this. 
I mean, the 13 of us against the world. There are more than 13 of us. According to Zorana, killing the Death Jarls in the cities will break the grip of the people, will grow in numbers. But first we must get so far. And Taz. We just have to pray that she gets better. She will. She will. Head's a mess right now. Ah! Curses to you, Dobin! Don't worry, Kajor. This is not a time for despair. We can pull through. Tomorrow we'll set a game plan and head out for a new operation. You're right. We're strong. We can do this. Kajor, Taz has something to tell you. Then I shall go see her. Thanks for cheering me up, guys. Oh boy. Here we go. You seem troubled, Alice. What's wrong? Well, for one, I'm surprised you've been so non-pervy lately. <laughs> I know how to control myself when needed. And secondly... <sighs> yes? This changed a lot. Hmm? How are you feeling, Tassie? I'm... I'm feeling okay. At least I know what's wrong with me. That castle of time sure did mess us up. I remember the Lord saying that it added months of stress to our bodies. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. Tassie, Alice said you wanted to tell me something. Oh, right. Uh, well, I just, uh... I wanted to say thanks for being such a great leader for this team. Oh, uh, I'm... I'm glad you like my leadership. I'm... I'm doing my best. We best be off to bed, everybody. We need to plan our operation tomorrow. Gunmar, Jonah, you're on guard duty. Well, I'll best be finding my way to bed as well. Sleep well, Tassie. Kijor, I'm pregnant. Oh boy. Oh come on, you must tell me more! And I will, but I think I'm gonna need a drink to clear my throat. Ah, uh, just control yourself this time. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now please go on. So the reason this task girl had been in pain recently was that she was with child? That's what Alice said. Small kicks from inside the stomach was a pretty clear sign. The trip through the void must have sped up the process. And Taz did confess to having spent the night with Kijor in the hideout, so things had gotten a bit complicated. They all agreed that Taz should stay back at the fort as the newly created stealth team headed out to Riften. Uh, what team? Why Riften? Listen, there were a lot of things that happened during those days, a lot of conversations, and my beard would grow beards if I included it all. So tell me some of what happened, and what led up to the plan. Well, Kijor had told the team of the vision he had outside of Riften, and the recent strange events, including his epic powers during the battle against Sarthar, the Lord of Time. Surana was unsure what this meant, but didn't see it as a bad thing, for now. Hmm, there are a few things I would like explained, is, is that okay? As long as there's wine, there are answers. I never really understood how Lucian and Tass knew Lund. How did they meet? Maybe I was a bit drunk when telling that part. Well, Lucian found Lund's hut after the Night Mother sent them back to Tamriel and they saw that they both had the same goal. Even back then, Lund could sense great things in the air. And Taz stumbled upon Lund's hut while adventuring and helped him fend off some bandits. He thanked her and asked if she needed a place to stay for the night. A friendship developed and Lund soon told her about his plans to find Kijor. Ah, okay. I see. Hmm. Lund, Lucian, and Serana. How did they all perceive the world around themselves so well? I guess it was a side effect of the corruption, I honestly don't know. They were able to sense events going on in the world, and this was a great help in the battle against Dobin. Oh, stop with the boring questions. Get on with the story. Something else I notice is how you seem to know more types of magic now. It's no longer fire only. 
I switched up my style, it was refreshing and efficient to know more combat styles. That's reasonable. Uh, careful with the wine now, you're drinking a lot. You don't want to end up in jail because of threatening to show broomsticks up in people's- Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful. It's just so good, mmm. Hmm, what about Dobin? How was he so powerful? And how could he control and corrupt so many people? Dobin was weak during the start of the Fourth Era, but after Kajor defeated him in the Hatred Fall Fort, he got more of his power back as he received a new form, and then- Lucian said that he can only take a new form once every era! Don't interrupt me! When Kajor crushed Dobin, he didn't fully finish the job, so the spirit still had a chance to find a new body. Dobin used to be a powerful dark entity, a god of evil, but his evil was split into many pieces, and only a fragment of his original strength remains. The only take a new form once an era, and if you don't make it in time you're dead, is a side effect from this. But his strength was still great, although he wished it greater, and that's why he was searching for more power as Kajor arrived at the fort. Just how he controlled people back then is still a mystery. Hmm, I guess I'll learn more as we go along with the tale. Go on. So as we know, the Dawn Guard had prepared you there. Get out of here, you're not Dragonborn. Uh-oh. There's somebody else here. You're a fool thinking you can run from me, Marthar. Enough riddles. Reveal yourself. Only if you tell me more of the tale. What? What? Why would you care about that? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell more. So, uh, as we know, the company had just received dire news. Tass was expecting, and so she was off the battlefield. Serana sent a raven to tell London Lucian that Kajor and the others were safely at the fort. And after that, they planned their next move. Serana wanted a small group to go and inspect Riften, to see how the situation was. She handed the task to Kajor, Alice, and Elianor. And so the gang of three set out to Riften, to do some stealth work. Hello guys and girls, my name is Kijor, and my name is Voices from the Dark, and welcome to episode 14 of Kijor's Adventures. I know it's a kind of weird place to have the intro in the middle of the episode, but you know, we have had a lot to catch up to, so hopefully Martha did a good, a good uh, explanation of what has been going on at the Dawn Guard since we arrived. Uh, Kijor has been down here for a few days, just kind of getting his game back after the Castle of Time, and also acquiring some new armor. Sadly, it seems that Kijor's gear is somewhere lost in the void. I don't know if we can ever, like, get it back. But this is what he has to deal with, or make do with for now. First off, he has a crossbow. Now, you, if you watched the Dawnguard Let's Play, you've already seen me use a crossbow, so... But if you haven't, it's still awesome. It's like a bow, just not as good, but it's still kind of cool. And he also has some uh, Dawn Guard armor, that was pretty much everything they could give him. A few lockpicks, Necklace of the Squire, but something they did have were a lot of potions. They've been really, really busy brewing, so Kijor now has a lot of survivability, which is good because some of the things we're going to meet later on. Oh, oh, oh. He also has uh, the Ring of Wielding that I got in the castle, and some bolts and torches. As you can see, not a very big inventory. Now, I've got your back. This is the first time seeing Alice in Season 2. Now, if you didn't watch the Dawnguard Let's Play, you might be a little surprised as to kind of why she's dressed like this, but it was how she was in the Dawnguard Let's Play. So if you check her out, we can see that she still has the Roger Brown, which is her uh, legendary Dwarven Fire Crossbow. Or I believe it's fire. I, I don't know if I actually enchanted it to be frost in the first place. I can't really remember, but it's still an epic piece of weaponry. She also has her mace, which is a specialized and hardened version of the Mace of Molag Ball, which she uses to bash in the skulls of her victims. She has a Dawnguard shield, the archery crown, and some Dawnguard heavy armor. Pretty sweet. Lead on. I will. But it seems that Alionor wasn't really too keen in dressing up in Dawnguard armor, or at least like the standard outfit. Just the reason behind this, I'm not sure. Maybe she wanted to be a bit lighter on her feet. Maybe Marthar convinced her that this was the best approach. I'm not sure. I'm still here. But I want to trade. What do you need to take? Not a lot, really. Uh, restore health. 
potions, necklace of the squire from the castle, and dawn guard armor and two axes. Pretty sweet. Now you might the follower AI has been improved a lot by the mod, so they will uh, be a lot better in combat, be a lot better at helping me, and be a lot better at generally just catching up to me. So this is going to be fun. Alinor, she's using dual weapons. Alice, she's mace and shields. All right, our current task is getting to Riften. Now, the reason Serana only wanted the little team of us to go, and, you know, not really bring, you know, Marthar or Phantomfish or anybody like that, well, it's not because she hates them, it's simply because we are the best sneakers. Now, you might be surprised why Alice is a good sneaker, but she's been practicing a lot since, you know, the Dawn Guard has to kind of stay off the map if you get my drift. And now, for those of you who don't know where the Dawn Guard is, is right here to the right of Riften, so... Riften is now over here, and it's where we're going. We are going to do some reconnaissance work. We have to find out, kind of, whether the city is takeable or not. How many troops they have. How many... Wait. Oh! Look out! Dobin! Dobin attackers! Behind you guys! Alice! Alinor! He's right there! Why do you not see him? There we go! Now you're reacting! So much for the combat AI. What are Dobin grunts doing so close to the castle? Die, you filthy grunts! Wow. As you can see, the crossbow is actually pretty. It's epic in a way. It's not the bow, but it's still, still pretty epic. Aha! You thought you could take on Kijur by yourself. What do you have? Oh, ho! Oh. Ah, Crimson Arrows. It's been a while since I've been using any of these. Wow, he has a... He had a high amount. Dobin Seal one. That's... The one basically represents that this is kind of the lower ranking Dobin people. Uh, we'll find different types of seals, and they all have a number afterwards, which will indicate how good it is. I'm not gonna take your hot. Vagabond Dusk Armor. That might be good for a Lionor. Hide Hell, no. No. Steel bolts, mace, and war axe. Alright, now a lion ore. Let's get going. I found some armor. Do you need to take? Uh, I don't know if I need to take anything, but this armor is pretty crappy, actually, so... I want you to have the dusk armor. Ooh, looking nice. Let's go. Now, one of the positive things about Kijor's inventory disappearing is... Where's Alice? Ah, there she is. A good thing of <clears throat> sorry, I'm slowly losing my voice. It's really cold outside, so that might have something to do with it. The reason it's kind of good is that we can kind of start fresh. We have our money, but we don't have like any of our old stuff, so we'll have to re-equip most of the people with new stuff. And you must be kidding me, Dragonbone Bow. Why was he carrying that? Dusk boots for Lionor, Tobin Seal. Ranger armor. That looks to fit me. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Let me let me, let me see this. I can't believe it. Crimson arrows. Let's just read Dobin's seal. Kill the cat. All hail Dobin. And a picture of Dobin himself. Ooh, creepy stuff. Now later on, these are, are going to be used as currency, so we can trade them in for favors and stuff, you know, like upgrading our weapons and armor and just kind of the general currency, because trust, trust me, there's going to be a lot of Dobin people around. The Dragon Bone Bow. Now in Season 1, we all know that Kijor had the, uh, the Ebony Bow enchanted with Chalk, the Blissful Shadow. But if that's gone, I guess we have to make do with this. Oh my god, that looks epic. Right, ranger armor. It's pretty much back to the basics, but thing is, Kijor is really, really comfortable in this armor, so he's able to move and fire a lot better when he's kind of, you know, lightly dressed, because that's how Kijor does it. Let me see you, Kijor. Ah, look at this, look at this, guys! Oh my lord! Look at that giant bow! Look at that giant bow! My name is Kijor, and you are all going to die. Oh my lord, this is beautiful. That's true beauty right there. Ah, I'm I'm really, really glad we have we have this cool stuff now. It looks good. Also a liner. What is it? What do I don't know, I don't know. The gear looked kinda good on you, I guess. I guess that is better protection, so uh, you know. 
Here, take the boots as well. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> Let's move on. I didn't... I, if Dobin sent those people to kind of stop us or spy or whatever, they kind of served like the opposite purpose, gearing us up. But this is good. This is good. We have some we have some basic armor and uh, and weapons. And so we shall get on with our with our stealth mission. Now, there as you saw, there was a lot of conflicts going about. Like people wanted to do different things. Some people wanted to go after the artifact, whatever that might be. Some people wanted to take cities, which is Kijor was on the team that wanted to take cities. But the thing is they um they before you, we can even start to think about taking a city, we have to do some reconnaissance, figure out how many troops are there, if there are any kind of leaders of the group, how to get to the Death Jarl, and just generally how to handle the situation. But one thing we have to do is be extremely, extremely careful. Now, we are lucky that they are able to kind of cloak the area in a shield spell, and besides, it's difficult ever seeing the Fort Dawn Guards. It's it's pretty well hidden, so we just have to be careful about patrols and just generally avoid get uh, getting Dobin's attention on us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, stay down. Something is going on over there. Looks like Riften guards. What are they doing? I see Dobin. I see a Dobin spy. Gotta take him out. Yeah. He looks to have killed somebody as well. This is bad, but at least I disabled him. Where are they all going? This is a perfect opportunity. Follow me. To do this quickly. Hide. Stay in the bushes, everybody. Oh, I do not like this. Who are they fighting? Are they... Is... Is... Uh oh! We're seen! I was about to say, maybe the gods haven't turned open after all. Guess I was wrong. Come on, show them what you're made of. Let me show you the combat of my trusty companions. Al is bashing them with a mace, a liner, dual axes, for the win. Bam! Oh, oh, oh. You got that one, Alice. Sweet. Dobin Rift Guards. Oh boy, he really has control, doesn't he? Hey, let me see you. I also have a new blood mod, which is really, really grotesque, but I love it. Dobin Seal. And let me see your face. Oh my god. Dobin people aren't too pretty, are they? Alright, you can lay over there. Sorry, I gotta loot you all. At least I still have the Riften Guard Shield. I don't think they've had time to kinda make new shields with the Dobin symbol. Which is good, shows that Dobin isn't really in full control. Now, how many guards were there? I think it was about four guards. And... okay. Good! Good! Now, we probably should get the bodies off the road, actually, in case, uh, in case somebody comes to investigate. Yeah. It's all a matter of staying hidden. That's our main priority. And if somebody sees us, <laughs> it's a matter of killing them before they can report to anybody else. Ooh, get over there. Be careful. You be careful. I'm. Ooh, look at. Oh, Martha would love this work. Okay, okay. I'm gonna call Martha. Hey, watch it. You watch it. Come on. And whoa, in the bushes. Perfect. Nobody will suspect a thing. That blood and those weapons totally won't look suspicious. Alright, let's continue. Uh, Riften should be just straight up the road here. Just keep our eyes open. Actually, let's go off the road. Can't really forget. Forget my place where I'm co Oh my god! Thalmor Wizard! What in oblivion are you doing? Wah! Ha! Luckily, they are weak. I must say, this bow is amazing. Loving it. Get out of here, Thalmor. <sighs> Still, people going completely bonkers. I do not get this corruption, and I do not get how we are not affected. 
I guess the Swift Claws must have been wrong about the rings, but I don't know if they were intentionally wrong or if it was a mistake. It's too early to tell, but I think I better be uh, careful about them. Alright, they blocked the entrance to Riften. Let's move around the wall for a bit. There must be some way we can sneak in. Now, what? Guys? Once we are inside town... Oh, I'll put down my weapon. Once we are inside town, do not trigger open combat, okay? This is stealth work. We just have to go in, kind of assess the situation, and then we go out again. Is that understood? Okay, Kajor, you take the lead. Alright, follow me. Alright, it's stealth time. Stealth time, baby. Love and stealth. Ah, oh, guys! Get back! Yeah, I see a guard. I just gotta... It seems like just one. But it can't be that easy. There must be a trap somewhere. Uh, Aligner, how much do you know about Riften? You think it's a possibility we could perhaps... Sneaking through the docks. I th I think that w that could actually be a valid uh, a valid point. So, follow me in the bushes, guys. Follow me. Go, 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 go. Ah, over there is the Hunting Broom Eatery. Good. Ta Wait. I I <laughs> I didn't mean Hunting Broom Eatery. I meant the uh, the Golden Glow Estate. I remember that time. Good old thieves' kill days. You with me? It's cold water, Alice. I'm sure you'll survive. Look, even a lionheart's doing it. Oh, you're fast. Mwah. I mean, I, I didn't mean to kiss. I'm just joking. Now, that kind of reminds me of the whole task situation. That's going to be quite interesting, seeing how the gang has to kind of deal with this new development. Ah, the sewers. That could be a good way to sneak in, but I don't trust that Tobin doesn't have any guards placed there, so... For now, it's too... This is perfect! Ha <laughs> ha! They call this security. I think they forgot about this gate. We could easily sneak in and just have a quick look around and get back out. Now, guys, main priority, do not get seen. Okay? Is that understood? Oh boy, maybe I shouldn't be talking this loud. Alright, let's go. Ah! Alright guys, be very, very quiet right now. Over there we have the old, uh, oh, what was that? Suddenly saw a light, I uh, guess it was that torch. I guess I am a bit easily scared. It's funny, everything seems so peaceful. But I guess that is the true face of evil. A facade for the thing, oh, shh, shh. Stop us by! Let me de- Oh no, we got guards patrolling. Okay, stand still. Stand completely still. If she goes to that little lookout place... Alright, it's a, it's a balcony above her. Alright, we should be safe. Let's proceed with plan. Kill Dobin Spy! Out of commission. Good. What is this? This certainly... I don't know, they seem to have built a lot of new stuff here in Riften since Tobin took over. Hmm, wait! Wait, I think I, I, I hear something. Listen up, maggots! Riften's defenses are laughable! This is not how a true city of Dobin should be! Tomorrow I'll send word to the leader in Solitude, and I'll tell him to send my personal army down here. With their support, this city will be impenetrable, in case the cat comes lurking around. But tonight, I'm gonna relax at the Bee and Barb. Now bring me some ladies, and I'll have them for myself this evening. <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? We have to report back to Serana straight away. Uh, if that commander is going to command his whole ha army here, well, we're gonna be in deep trouble. I guess we should, uh, figure out a way to take him out. You with me? Let's go! Alright, let's get out of here, quickly now! You guys with me? Good. 
Alright, so that could cause complications if that, uh, if the Dobin commander decides that he wants to send, send another army down to Riften, so... Oh, sorry, almost forgot. Dobin guard. So we have to do something to prevent that, but I think we should kind of ask Serana first. Now, you might have noticed that kind of Serana has taken charge, despite, you know, Alice being the leader. You guys with me? Oh, they are so bad at sneaking. I hope we're not gonna get caught. Good. Uh, that's, that's simply because of her ability. Since she can kind of see so much, it's better that she plans these things. And Alice was never really one for planning anyway. <laughs> She's all action, that girl. Which, you know, is okay. Now, I want to get back and check on Tass. <sighs> I hope she's gonna be okay. I wonder if we can estimate a date for the, uh, the arrival. <sighs> this is all so strange. But I guess this is no time to dwell. Follow me. We're going off road. I am terribly sorry, Mr. Hooded Man, but that's all I can tell for today. If I tell too much at a time, it loses its magic. Fine, just be prepared to tell me more tomorrow. What do you mean? You're coming with me. I am eager to hear more of this tale. No, Marthar, don't do it. Say one more word, and I'll roast your life, Bowser. Now come with me, old man. Where are we going? To somewhere a bit more. Secluded. <laughs> oh crap. 